Hey everybody, it's your homegirl Joy here, and today I wanted to update you on the rainbow bush just because she's grown so much since the last video and her cuttings are doing awesome as well. But I noticed something today. <laughs> she has a minor aphid infestation. Now an aphid, I'll leave a picture right here, is a little green bug. They don't do as much damage I see as mealybugs, which mealy bugs I'll leave a photo right here are just the bane of my existence I hate them so much so I thought I'd quickly talk about how to get rid of aphids now when you first notice aphids it's really important to to try to get rid of them as quickly as possible one way that you could do it is really just by spraying them with water to get them off of the leaves now to prevent aphids you can mix some dish soap with water and you can put that on the leaves and it won't harm it. It's just a preventative measure for the aphids. Another good way <laughs> to get rid of aphids are ladybugs. Ladybugs love aphids and they will devour them right up. Now aphids reproduce very quickly. They reproduce within seven days. The females actually, or <laughs> they experience live births, which is fascinating and horrifying. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I'll put some <laughs> footage of the aphids that I see right now. And they're really mostly covering the tops of the new stems that my rainbow bush has. But yeah, I wanna get rid of them because they reproduce and reproduce very quickly. Now, some of the dangers of aphids though, they don't usually kill off a mature plant. And I know that my rainbow bush right now is okay because it's mature enough, it's well-rooted, and the aphids won't completely destroy it, but they will leave damaged leaves as they're feeding on them. Not only that, but they can carry some viruses that can be transmitted to your other household plants plants. So it is important to get rid of them as soon as you possibly can. So before I do anything else <laughs> right now and show you what I wanted to show you, I need to get rid of these. And I don't know if I should do ladybugs because I know where I can buy some. <laughs> Thank you, Sun River. <laughs> that or just go ahead and spraying them. You know what? I'm gonna spray them down. If they come back fairly quickly, I'll get the ladybugs. Oh, hi, don't mind me just here outside of my apartment hosing down my rainbow bush and I thought I'd show you. So here she is. What I did was loosen the nozzle of my spray bottle and <laughs> just push them right off. Yeah, there's still some on it. Um, I think I will need to get those ladybugs, but honestly that beats putting chemicals on top of the plants, potentially damaging it through its root system, which I don't wanna do. Um, I don't wanna burn the leaves either. Believe it or not, I've already burned some leaves on some of my plants, which I will show you in another video. <laughs> Looks like not much damage has been done. At least I don't see anything just yet. I think I caught it before it got bad. And now I just need to make sure I take care of the situation ASAP. So it's been just under two months since that last rainbow bush video, but if you remember, I knocked off a little part of the stem that was growing on the rainbow bush, and I also had a smaller stem that just wasn't growing for the almost two years that I've had it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the pictures right here, and this is what they look like now. So as you can see, they've rooted, they are growing, and I am so happy. I was worried, especially for the dried out piece I've had for two years. Um, I was worried that it wasn't going to produce any new leaves and here it is. They're doing great and I'm so excited and it's been fairly easy propagating these so if you want to propagate something, rainbow bush is very forgiving. Apparently easy to propagate. There's some little baby aphids on these so I need to hold these down too. And if you remember this guy from the previous rainbow bush video, he is getting lengthy. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just take down some of the stems because I do want it to grow more full and rounded instead of very long tall shoots coming out of a more full body. So honestly all you really need to do is just you know 
that. <laughs> there you have it. Again, wait till it calluses over and then put it in some dirt. Um, if you want to use rooting powder, I noticed that it helped a lot with the rainbow bush piece that fell off. But yeah, just give it a few weeks and it should take root and start growing. So when you do pluck off that stem or cut it off, as long as you do it where new leaves meet, then a new shoot of leaves will start growing. And that's exactly what happened with the rainbow bush. Okay, now cutting it back down, new shoots should start to appear. And just to give you an idea of how they will grow back, this is where I knocked off that little stem. And two new stems have grown in its place and are starting to get bigger. And before I forget, the links that I have down below are affiliate links and you can easily just go through the link to look at any of the products that I use here with the soil, the little planters, the shelf, the lights, all of that will be linked down below with a few other things. And even if you don't buy any of those products through the line, if you actually purchase something after clicking on the link if it's something different it actually still helps me out so if you plan on buying anything <laughs> and you just so happen to come across one of my links then that would be a huge help whatever I get I'll put back into the blend well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was informative and helpful if you're experiencing an, in, an infant, an infant infestation, aphid infant state, infant. If you are experiencing an aphid infestation, <laughs> there we go. Then those are some tips and some tricks on how to get rid of the aphids so there isn't any permanent leaf damage on your plant. Again, if they are younger plants, make sure to check on them daily so they don't return and don't permanently damage the growth of the plant. I kind of want to get ladybugs. <laughs> I'm a little excited about the thought of needing to get ladybugs as an army to get rid of these aphids. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay joyful, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!